Welcome, honored guests. And trails? Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the Addams Family cast, Where Are They Now? Why are you dressed like somebody died? Wait. For this list, we'll be looking at the primary cast of both Addams Family movies and seeing what they've been up to in recent years. Which of these actors is your favorite? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. John Franklin This Illinois actor was quite popular throughout the 80s and early 90s. He first rose to prominence playing the creepy Isaac Croner in Children of the Corn, before starring as Cousin It in both Adam's Family movies. You're right, far too long. I just want to see you, However, Franklin eventually grew disillusioned with show business and put down roots in Santa Clarita, where he found work as a high school English teacher. He taught for over a decade before returning to Hollywood in the mid 2010s. Since 2017, he's appeared in episodes of Brooklyn Nine-Nine and Fresh Off the Boat. Okay, I need you to sign, initial these, roll your thumb through some ink, and we'll be done. Franklin also published a graphic novel called Prime Cuts with his creative writing partner, Tim Sulka. Number 9. Dana Ivey An acclaimed stage actress and five-time Tony Award nominee, Dana Ivey has also done some movie work. She was especially big in the early 90s, playing Margaret Alford in the Addams Family movies and the desk clerk who checks Kevin into the plaza in Home Alone 2. Hi. Can I help you? Reservation for McAllister? A reservation for yourself. Ivy continues to perform in both film and television. In 2017, she appeared in a Madam Secretary episode titled The Beautiful Game, and the following year appeared as Diana in Ocean's 8. Are they worth something? Yes, they're worth quite a lot. The latter is Ivy's last credited movie role, aside from a 2019 short film called Georgica. Number 8. Joan Cusack One of the biggest names in the Addams Family cast, Joan Cusack has been a movie star for decades. In 1993, she appeared in Adam's Family Values as Debbie Jelinski, a serial killer with aims of claiming Uncle Fester's inheritance. These Adams men, where do you find them? It has to be damp. She made a great contribution to a firmly established and beloved cast, just as she would do six years later by starring as Jesse in Toy Story 2. It's you! It's you! It's you! It's you! It's you! It's me. 2019 saw Cusack doing a lot of voice work, reprising her role as Jessie in Toy Story 4 and starring as Tammy Crum in the beloved Netflix Christmas film Klaus. Now, I just know you didn't mean to disrespect all of that heritage, right? Right. And it won't happen again, will it? Cusack has also done some TV work as of late, having starred in the second season of Prime Video's psychological thriller Homecoming. Number 7. Carl Struken This Dutch actor is known the world over for playing Lurch in the Addams Family movies, including the 1998 straight-to-video film Addams Family Reunion. Don't stare, just get me out. The late 2010s have been very prosperous for Struken, as he's undergone a bit of a resurgence. In 2017, he played the Moonlight Man in Mike Flanagan's Gerald's Game and appeared as the Fireman in Twin Peaks The Return, having played the giant in the original Twin Peaks series. He worked with Flanagan again in 2019 by starring as Grandpa Flick in his Shining sequel, Dr. Sleep. I'm scared. No, you're not. You watched Empires rise and fall? Struken also runs SphericalPanoramas.com, which is a website housing his panoramic photography. Number 6. Carol Kane this Emmy-winning actress replaced Judith Molina as Grandmama in Adam's Family Values. Luxor, Nexor, push and burn! What is she doing? Just to curse. Have a nice day. 
Melina passed away in 2015 at the age of 88, but Kane is still appearing regularly in film and on television. Kane finished a decade-long run as Madame Morrible in Wicked in 2014, and in 2019 starred as Mallory O'Brien in the comedy horror film The Dead Don't Die. I got this, Cliff. Perhaps her most well-known recent role is that of Lillian Kaustupper in Netflix's Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt. King portrayed the character for four seasons, appearing in 42 of the show's 52 episodes. I'm here about the ad? The roommate ad. Oh my god! about the ad. I own the building. Come on. Kane reprised her role in the 2020 interactive film Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt, Kimmy vs. the Reverend. Number 5. Jimmy Workman This Virginian actor was actually accompanying his older sister Chanel to the Addams Family auditions when he was noticed by the filmmakers. Pugsley. <laughs> Kids. <laughs> He was subsequently cast in the role of Pugsley Adams, and his poor sister got nothing. That must have been awkward. However, Workman wasn't very long for show business, and he left Hollywood entirely by the early 2000s. What did you say? Workman is now living a quiet life in California, having long retired from acting. However, he found himself in the news in the early 2010s after seeking guardianship of his younger sister, Modern Family's Ariel Winter. I really oh. need to focus. There is a 16-year-old science prodigy studying cancer research at Johns Hopkins. 16! What am I doing? I'm eating cake! No, no, no! Number 4. Christopher Lloyd A Hollywood legend, Christopher Lloyd has starred in many beloved movies and has played many beloved characters, including Uncle Fester. Fest. Thomas. In October of 2021, Lloyd turned 83 years old. But despite his advancing age, Lloyd is still going strong as a performer. He appeared in several movies throughout 2021 alone, including Nobody, in which he played Bob Odenkirk's father, and a Hallmark movie titled Next Stop Christmas. I need to take it to Yonkers. Sometimes what we want is not what we need. That same year, Lloyd appeared as himself in Expedition Back to the Future, a miniseries that saw Lloyd and Josh Gates of Expedition Unknown hunting down the original DeLoreans that were used in the iconic movie series. Josh! Are you Christopher Lloyd? Who? <gasps> the actor, Christopher Lloyd! Number 3. Raul Julia Tragically, the man who played Gomez hasn't been with us since 1994. Oh, Tish. On October 24th of that year, Julia passed away at just 54. The actor was diagnosed with stomach cancer in the early 90s, around the time that the first Adams Family was released. Julia kept this information a secret, and he suffered for three years before passing from a stroke. Angelica Houston claims that Julia was very sick while filming Adams Family Values and had visibly lost a lot of weight. If these walls could speak, hey, old man? What? What would they say? You tell me. <laughs> you first. He passed 11 months after the movie's release, with his final role being M. Bison in the live-action Street Fighter adaptation. In 2019, PBS aired a documentary titled Raul Julia, The World's a Stage through their American Masters series. My dad really felt that he could create change in the world and be an activist as an actor and through the roles that he played. Number 2. Christina Ricci one of the standout performers of the Adams Family series, Christina Ricci memorably portrayed Wednesday Adams in both films. Nobody gets out of the Bermuda Triangle, not even for a vacation. She was just 11 years old when the first movie was released, but she outshone many actors three times her age. It signaled a successful acting career, and Ricci took full advantage of it. I'll buy a cup if you buy a box of my delicious Girl Scout cookies. Do we have a deal? Are they made from real Girl Scouts? In 2021, she started playing adult Misty in the Showtime coming-of-age drama Yellow Jackets, which is essentially Lord of the Flies with a high school soccer team. Hello, Misty. You crazy bitch. It's been a while. Ricci is also scheduled to star in The Matrix Resurrections, the long-anticipated fourth entry in The Matrix franchise. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Christopher Hart 
Thing has long retired from acting and is living a quiet life outside the spotlight. Dan Hedaya Tully Alford has appeared in recent indie movies like 2021's The God Committee. When I heard about that heart, I couldn't help but think that God was looking after us. Elizabeth Wilson Dr. Pinderschloss passed away in 2015 at the age of 94. Good evening. I am Dr. Pinderschloss. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Angelica Houston This legendary actress was perfectly cast as the Addams matriarch Morticia. She had made her mainstream breakthrough just a few years prior in 1985's Prizzy's Honor, and the Addams Family series greatly contributed to her popularity and legacy. Last night you were unhinged. You were like some desperate howling demon. You frightened me. Do it again. Houston has remained very busy within the Hollywood sphere. She's appeared in several TV series such as Medium, American Dad, and BoJack Horseman. I saw your interviews several months back. It made me nostalgic. Me too. Nostalgic for the day before I did the interview. Oh yes, humor. On the film side, she appeared as the director in John Wick Chapter 3, Parabellum, and provided her voice as the narrator in Wes Anderson's 2021 anthology, The French Dispatch. Arthur Howitzer Jr. transformed the series of travelogue columns into The French Dispatch. She also produced a PETA documentary in 2020 titled Breaking the Chain. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.